In this video tutorial, you will learn how to back up your WordPress website manually in cPanel. Backing up your website simply means saving a copy of your website, so that if something happens to your website, you can restore the backup to recover your website. You can back up your website manually using cPanel or FTP. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to back up your WordPress website in cPanel. There are two things you have to do to back up your website. First, you have to back up all the site files from the file manager. And second, you have to back up the database using PHP My Admin. This is the website that I will be backing up, which is currently on my subdomain. To back up your website manually, log into your cPanel. First, I will be backing up the files from the file manager. So click on the file manager. Since I am working on a subdomain, I will look for that folder. If you are working on your main domain, you will have to go to this folder right here, which is the public HTML. Double click on the folder to open it. These are all the files for this website. Click here to select all of them. Then click here on compress to compress these files. I will choose to compress them as a zip file. And name this file backup. Then click on Compress Files. Wait for the files to get compressed. This will zip all the files, which will make it easier to download them. This is not possible via FTP. If you want to zip these files, you have to do it via cPanel. If you want to back up these files with FTP, you will have to download all these files on your hard drive, then you can zip them later. When it's done, click on Close. If you do not see the zip file, just reload the page. This is the backup file we just created. Right click on it and then click on download to download it to your hard drive. Now that you have backed up the files, go back to cPanel, then click on PHP My Admin. It will take a few seconds to load the page. When the page loads, you will see all the database you have here. And as you can see, these databases have fairly random names. So there are two ways to find the database you're looking for. You can either open every database, and then go to the options file. And here you can see the URL to check if this is the correct site. This is the slow way, by trial and error. The fast way is to go back into your files in the file manager, then right click on wpconfig.php file, then click on edit, and edit again. There's no need to back up this file because you will not be making any changes to it. Then right here, you can see the database name. Now that you have the database name, close this file, and go back to the PHP My Admin, and open the database. You can go to the options file to double check. The database is where all the content of your site lives. All the settings, written content, etc. For example, if you have an image on your site, the image will be stored in the files in the file manager. But what the URL to that image will be, where is that image on your website, all that is stored in your database. Now before backing up these files, first make sure you click on the top level of the database. Then scroll down and click here on Check All. Then click on Export. You can select the export method as quick, that's good enough. Then click on Go. This will save the database on your hard drive. 
So this is how you can back up your WordPress website manually in cPanel. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.